so today we are going to look at how to upload items uh, in bulk at all okay so as you can see that i'm opening a uh, i already have a on my screen that is a admin portal okay you simply go to on the top navigation bar you simply click on this operations okay in the manage items you will find this option called uh, import export okay simply you click on that okay so now this is the uh, this is the page where you can upload your items in bulk you can update your items in bulk and basically you can do uh, any uh, activity related to inventory in bulk through the excel sheet okay so i will show you how you can upload the item in bulk so let's suppose uh, you have a restaurant business and uh, you can see the first button here the download sample file you will find two samples two different sample for the related to the businesses so we will download sample for restaurant okay i have downloaded it already okay once you will download it it will uh, it will be an xls file excel file you can open it through any kind of uh, excel uh, you know application like microsoft libra or you can also uh, if you wanted to uh, i have updated here in the google sheet i have opened that same file in the google sheet you can uh, do the same if you wanted to okay so in that sheet you will find uh, this top three sections as you can see okay uh, top three sections with the instruction okay nice now uh, if we'll go through all these sections okay there is a sign saying it is mandatory so whatever field is uh, you know assigned as a mandatory uh, you have to put the value in it okay you have to maintain the value in it okay other ones are simply optional okay so we will go through that all uh, you know uh, all this uh, uh, fields one by one okay okay so nice uh, first you have to list down the product name okay like uh, whatever product you are selling like uh, tea coffee or any kind of a steak and everything so the product name will be go there okay product description if you wanted to maintain a product description like how the product is made what kind of ingredient or what kind of uh, portion you are going to put in that okay so you will have to maintain it here the category uh, we already know the catalog or category is something like that in the uh, previous uh, videos i have showed you uh, it is a group of that okay so let's suppose uh, you can have the drinks category you can have the main course category non veg categories okay veg categories in restaurant in frame of restaurant in frame of retail you can have the multiple categories like let's suppose you have a uh, you know apparel business so you will have a categories like uh, you know shirts top jeans something like this okay so you will maintain the category here okay so now we will talk about this uh, variant option and option 1 2 3 okay so basically uh, if your product is varying on some kind of uh, you know uh, variance it's uh, getting varied through uh, any kind of differences like uh, size type color brand anything you wanted to maintain in that let's suppose you if you have a, a kind of platter okay so let's say your platter comes into two size one is a uh, family platter one is uh, you say uh, the uh, the platelets or uh, the small portion platter okay so you can maintain that here so something like here will go size okay and the first option will be family okay in the bottom you will say that is small okay so okay so this will uh, show the option something like this and then you will uh, assign the variant names something like uh, you know family platter and a small platter for the same product it will be okay so you won't have to put it here right okay now if you have this one so let's say this and you will maintain it here maintain it here okay so i will change the name simply okay nice okay so that will be the uh, that is the case of uh, variant options and providing their options let's suppose it has a different value as well let's say um, it has a type okay so i will maintain the type as well okay so that will be my uh, option number two the type is option number two so i'll maintain here 
as country and it will be as mains okay so something like that so it will uh, start creating combination it depends on the uh, how uh, how you are going to maintain the variant in restaurant industry it is not uh, very uh, it's not uh, a general practice people uh, keep the variant but in retail yeah it is uh, it is the thing there okay okay so now uh, yeah so once you have done this variant you have to provide the uh, variant name okay then the location as you can see it here you can maintain you can have multiple locations okay so if you'll have multiple location you have to provide the location name here okay okay so you will put the location name here the selling price there the unit unit is mandatory so unit is basically uh, in what uh, size you are selling like let's suppose you are uh, selling it as a bottle so if there is a uh, you know a beer bottle so you will put uh, in a <clears throat> unit you will put bottle or if you are selling a can so 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 it will be can okay if you are selling it in carton so it will be in carton okay if you are selling uh, in food plate or something like that then you will put it here uh, serve or something okay then you will put the currency according to your uh, country like AUD, USD, okay. Okay, now uh, these options are, uh, you know, uh, already there. Like uh, if you wanted to make that item online or offline, you can simply maintain the flag, okay. If you are not going with online, then you can simply leave these sections, okay. And by default, it will set the value false. So as you see, uh, this is default if you leave this blank okay it, what will happen it will assign some kind of uh, you know default value to that so uh, these were all the uh, mandatory fields okay as you can see from currency afterwards it's all optional okay so like uh, you need to provide the tax code if you have already have created so you can get the tax code from here you will go to operations okay you will have manage taxes and the manage business taxes as you can see i don't have any taxes here okay if i'll create one okay if i'll create one then i can simply go and uh, type the tax name there okay let's suppose i have put it the gst 10 okay so the tax type is gst and it is 10 okay uh, you can always keep it as a set default okay tax included in price or excluded in price it's your choice you have to do that you simply save it now the tax is created what you need to do you simply have to put this gst 10 in this section if you wanted to apply the taxes on these items okay same taxes okay now uh, there is a shorting order variant shorting order where you can put uh, like uh, you know 10 20 value okay so it is basically like uh, this item will uh, show prior to this item okay so this item will uh, show first in the point of sale system then the uh, following this item following this item so basically basically you can do the shorting or you can leave it you can do it uh, afterwards once you have created the items and everything so like this here okay so this item will show first this will second and this will third if you wanted to short you can always opt from here as well okay so basically these are optional type uh, food type you, uh, a lot of uh, restaurant people uh, you know maintain since it is a restaurant outlet of this uh, uh, upload so food type is like uh, veg non-veg okay uh, vegan you wanted to maintain you can have that okay so that's all for the uh, today okay once you have uh, done this sheet all you need to do is delete all these three top okay you will remove this okay and then you can simply upload this sheet okay so let's say if i'll go there operations import export choose file okay if i'll simply open this one okay i will get this option okay update product update inventory add new inventory and update stock and price so these are four options i'll uh, uh, system will prompt you to choose since you are doing a uh, new inventory you are adding new inventory in your business so simply you click on this add new inventory okay and it will start showing this kind of information since i don't have any kind of information in this sheet 
okay so it is not detecting any kind of this okay so once you uh, it will detect a correct sheet it will start showing that okay what you have product name type catalog and everything and then simply you can click on the upload button and it will start uploading it so i'll just show you simply i'll go there okay i can simply uh, save it okay download it okay so i'll download it okay now if i'll go there click on back this i'll choose this and i have downloaded this file add new inventory okay so as you can see that it is a start showing all the detail i have put it in the sheet uh, product name category variant name location and the price and unit of those of course okay these are warnings uh, for now you can uh, you know simply ignore that because it is showing uh, it is showing that the catalog you have put it here is not actually in the business so if i'll go i can find seasonal yeah so the category is not here basically okay so that's why it is showing the warning that uh, your item will be created but it won't be tagged to any category so it won't be available in the point of sale system so make sure uh, whenever you are uh, updating the item or creating new item all the details are filled are correct okay so if i'll go there okay so it is showing me all of the all of the kind of warning it could be okay and this too won't uh, upload it because uh, as you can see it here it is crossed because uh, we have put it the incorrect tax okay so the warning and the error both will be there if you have error in your sheet it won't be uh, you won't be able to upload it okay you can simply download the log delete those item correct those item and then try to upload so that is for the day okay hope you uh, hope you got the information how you can upload the inventory in uh, point of sales uh, in uh, at all okay in the part